Greetings, Internet -isms. This is Elmer Hen. I've decided to start playing Professor Layton. I mostly know about it through its crossover with uh, Ace Attorney. It's uh, a series of games about a British adventurer, archaeologist who loves puzzles. And uh, unlike the Phoenix side, he's probably not Japanese. Well, enter your name. Where's the letters? Hmm. I'm, am I writing my name? That's a G. <laughs> How do I erase just one letter? Do I have to erase the board? Alright. DS. Showcasing the touch screen. But I'm using a mouse. Trident. <laughs> Small letters? Are you expecting me to write in lowercase? I didn't want a P. Elmo! <laughs> Why is my name supposed to be in the game? Is this like Earthbound? Okay, this game really wants me to be Elmo. And this will, will look like a Y? No, it's an M apparently. I have to write this in one stroke. Uh, unless I start the eye from the top. It doesn't have to be one stroke. But it has to be fast. What is this, Okami? Small letter. That's an overlapping set symbol. <laughs> okay. Gonna go earthbound with this. To my dear friend. I'm his friend. The things we saw that day in the village became a secret we would have to keep from everyone for the rest of our lives. That's not the professor's because, voice. You see? There's a car! A D 
beautiful landscape with bright green trees. See the professor and his friend. Ooh, a bug, dragonfly. I don't understand, Professor. Why are we going to help solve an inheritance dispute? Maybe there's a murder investigation. But they, the, you should leave that to the lawyers. I mean, the detectives. Look, my boy. Do you really think I would take on such an ordinary request as that? Okay, now there's a British girl named like an elf. She's friends with Luke. Oh, no. This is an altogether unique and exciting situation, and it has piqued my intellectual curiosity. But I suppose it would be best to explain the case before we arrive at our destination. Uh, the sound is broken. At least the voices are broken. Two months ago, Baron Augustus Reinhold passed away. Shortly after his death, his will was disclosed. The contents of it were fascinating, to say the least. Ooh, who does he bequeath his secret basement lab to? The Reinhold family treasure. The golden apple is hidden somewhere within this village. Oh, the apple of discord. Or discord. That's probably the correct accent. To whomever successfully locates this treasure, I offer the whole of my estate. Ooh, find the treasure. Oh, this is Uminiko all over again. There's gonna be 18 people fighting, and then they all get killed by a sadistic witch. Naturally, those who attended the reading of the will immediately set out in search of the golden apple. But in the end, everybody came back empty-handed. It turns out that no one had even heard of such a treasure existing, until it's mentioned in the will. Wow, that's some puzzle, all right. Maybe the apple is a metaphor. Quite. Augustus Reinhold staked his entire fortune just to create one more puzzle before his death. Yeah. Those crazy old men. What a perplexing individual. I wish I could have met him while he was still alive. It certainly sounds like you two would have gotten along, Professor. By the way, just what is this golden apple anyhow? It's probably a puzzle. Some speculate it's a rare antique, while others say it could be a gem. Yet its identity remains elusive. Maybe it's a gem that the... Uh, uh, that some evil rich woman was transformed into by an urchin child who might have secretly been a fairy or a goddess. But look, I can't shake the feeling that this matter is linked to some larger mystery. Something huge. Oh, a global conspiracy about uh, putting puzzles everywhere. Aha! Uh -huh. Is that your famous intuition acting up again, Professor? Hmm. Well, our first step is getting to town. This is all so exciting! I hope St. Mystere is ready for the famous archaeologist and puzzle-solving detective, Herschel Layton. Oh, he's a detective. But uh, he probably doesn't solve murders. <laughs> oh, Luke. You know as well as I do that I am no detective. Not a real detective. Augustus Reinhold's wife, Lady Dahlia, has asked me to investigate the situation. Ooh, Dahlia. Well, it's a flower name. It seems she came across my name by chance when reading an article about me in the papers. You don't see a lot of people named Dahlia. And you immediately decided to take her up on her request, huh? Oh, well, look. A true gentleman never refuses the request of a beautiful lady. Hmm. If you say so, Professor. 
We should have been heading the town by now. Look at the map in the envelope and help me with directions. Oh, first puzzle? You got it! What in the... What's this? Spyros! We're in Uzumaki town! Lady Dahlia seems to have given us a test. We'll need to decipher this map in order to find the village. Well, British uh, version of Uzumaki town. She wants to see if we're capable of cracking the mystery surrounding the Reinhold fortune. Can you give it to go, Luke? I'll do my best. A puzzle like this should be a snap for the apprentice of the great Professor Layton. Very well then, Luke. I'll leave this one to you. Think of it as a warm-up for things to come. <laughs> Where's the town? It should be on the map. I can see a town here. My village is on a road that leads to no other town. So what does that mean? Only one town on the road. Yeah. I don't have a stylus, I just have a mouse. Well... There seem to be two towns on this road, at least two. Yeah? This one is two, it could be this town. Oh! Now I should be drawing. This is a potato. I'm bad at circles, okay? Is this okay for a circle? Well, here's my guess. I didn't. I'm so embarrassed. I got very much the wrong town, I should uh, be getting uh, this one, because the roads are all tangled up in spirals. I think I've got it! Stuck in the Ito zone with Lady Dahlia! I've sold it! I was just confuzzled. There we go! Now we should be able to make our way to the village! Right you are. We should see it on the horizon any moment now. An eerie secluded huh? town. Professor, do you mean to say you already figured out the town's location? Of course. <laughs> I'm afraid I couldn't help myself. A basic puzzle like that is easy enough to solve with a glance. Anyhow, you'd best gather your things, Luke. We've arrived. It's starting? What's this? A homestuck tower? Building up to a portal in the sky? Is that where the ruler of the town lives? Interesting. It appears that this drawbridge is the entrance to the village. And we are stuck on the outside. We are stuck on the outside. What should we do, Professor? 
Oh, look over there. There's a man standing on the other side of the river. Maybe he can help us. Investigate the man! Maybe he has clues. Good day, sir. We'd very much like to gain access to the village. Could you please drop the bridge for us? Do I look like the sort to go dropping the bridge for a bunch of fancy looking outsiders? He looks like a potato. Hmm. You got a lot of nerve. We received a letter of invitation from Lady Dahlia. I don't suppose that changes things, does it? From Lady Dahlia? Well then, I'd sure like to lower the bridge for you, Mr. Fancy Pants. But the engine is busted and I can only move this blasted bridge with the hand crank. Hmm. There's all these infernal slots I could put the crank in, but I got no clue which one to use. Hmm. So, smart guy, you got any idea which one is the right one? There's no way to lower the bridge. Choose the slot that fits the crank. The pentagon. Right? This is a pentagon. Uh... Luke, here's my answer. Every puzzle has an answer. That'll do it. Hold on a second, I'll let her down. Hmm. I'm gonna say it again. I just don't feel right about letting outsiders into St. Mister. But if you're Lady Dahlia's guests, I guess I'd better. At least give her my regards, you hear? Hmm. Maybe she's the ruler of the city now. But... Yeah, maybe she controlled the Baron. Birds are singing, sun is shining. Is that a green river? Yes, we finally arrived in St. Mister. I'm so excited. I wonder what mysteries await us here and why is the city's name half French? I mean, the village's name. <laughs> well, look, we'll find out soon enough. Just be careful not to let your excitement cloud your ability to analyze your surroundings. Always be vigilant. There's dangers everywhere. I say, Rook, this is a perfect time to explain how to move about during our investigation. Touch the shoe. Give that shoe-shaped icon in the lower right portion of the touch screen a tap with your stylus. But Professor, I don't have a stylus. After you do this, a set of arrows will appear on the screen. Tap one to head in the direction. High-tech archaeology gadgets, you see. So remember, when you want to move, just tap the shoe. Go on, then give it a try. Ooh, arrows! Hey now, don't turn off yet. I've got something you should hear first. My face is a rectangle. <laughs> what a dandy set of fellows you two are. Must be new to St. Mister, right? The name's Stachenskaffen, and I've got some advice for you. Is this scarf supposed to be 
uh, spike you or something? Go pet the barrel right there with your stylus. Don't ask questions, just do it. The barrel. Ooh, hint coins. It's still wiggling. <laughs> Felt good, didn't it? And these parts, that's what we call a hint coin. And you find yourself up against a doozy of a puzzle? You don't want to hint. Trust me on this, fellas. And it's just those times when you'll want to use a hint coin to purchase a hint. I bet you think puzzles will be a breeze now, eh? Wait till you get those timed, damaged... <laughs> like, timed, no damage, through several screens, past a boss room, the uh, quests. Think again. There are a limited number of ink coins in this world, so don't go wasting coins on any old riddles. Because if you do, when you come across a real stamper, you will be sorry. Real sorry. Mind you, hint coins won't always be stuffed inside barrels. Check any object that seems suspicious. Got all that? Good. Be seeing you around. This point the newest person Oh hello! Pleasure to meet you. Welcome to Saint Mystery, where our local expert is the puzzle. Oh, before I forget, you should know that every time you solve a puzzle, you earn a set number of picarats. The more picarats a puzzle is worth, the tougher the puzzle will be. They say lovely things happen when you gather enough picards. Imagine that a reward for solving puzzles. Proper up is try this little riddle that your head reminded me of. Think good and hard before you answer. Uh, is it the uh, cup puzzle? With the, the thingy the hidden under one of three cups? Strange heads. These four top heads are all the same height, but the length of each brim is different. Ho ho ho, math! They're measuring. The shadow it casts, could it be the longest one? You can just flip it. Looks like a moustache. Am I supposed to count the pixels or something? Could it be this one? The widest that one? That should do it. Oh. No, 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 damn it. Frankly, I'm ashamed. I 
suppose I thought wrong. Is it supposed to only measure the black part for height? should do it. Another puzzle solved. What puzzle? I was just guessing the dimensions of that head. Ah. An optical illusion, but uh, I couldn't flip the head. at this. Oh, bravo! I think you got the hang of this. If you try your options one by one, you'll eventually find the answer. So she literally expected me to use trial and error. However, you'll also encounter lots of puzzles that can't be solved by simply trying all the answers. If you answer incorrectly, the picards you earn from a puzzle decrease. Tough stuff, hmm? It goes to show you how important it is to think for yourself and find the answer on your own. Well then, best of luck to you. I'll be looking for you too. What's back here? That's the exit. It's amazing, Professor. St. Mister appears to be surrounded by a thick forest on all sides. At least it's not in the middle of some wasteland, but then again this is Britain, it's green all over, except for the cities. Indeed it does. But enough talk of trees, we should head over to meet Lady Dahlia now. I've been thinking, Professor, shouldn't we be keeping a record of our investigation? Save mechanic introduced? You brought up a very good point, Luke. Let me explain how to go about saving your game. First, tap your stylus on the track in the upper right corner of the touchscreen. This track contains all manner of information that you can access by tapping the icons. Touch the icon marked Save to save your game. Tap the journal icon to read over notes about our adventure in St. Mister. Next, we have the puzzle index icon. Tap it to view all the puzzles you've encountered. Puzzles you've solved have a check next to them. Puzzles you've seen but haven't solved are blank. You can retry any puzzles you've solved from the screen. To retry puzzles that you haven't solved yet, you must return to the actual site of the puzzle. Don't be afraid to use the items in the trunk to help our investigation. It will be second nature soon enough. Ooh, I'm getting equipment that allows me to unlock more progress, more exploration. Enough explanation for now. Let's make our way to Reinhold Manor. An arrow marks our path on the map. So all we need to do is head in the correct direction. Lead the way, Professor. East side of town. Oh, there's a dude. Oh, hello. I'm Percy, St. Mister's unofficial writer in residence. Reinhold Manor, you ask? Head up to that road to the right. It's immense, so you'll know when you see it. It's that weird tower of houses. But before you go, why not try your hand at this puzzle I thought up? See if you can figure out which house is mine from the instructions I give you. I'll even sweeten the deal for you. If you manage to solve this puzzle, I'll tell you about this village. 
So how about it? You will try, won't you? After all, a writer is nothing without an audience. Ooh. Go to front door and turn left. So the front door is here on this house, you turn left. But how do you tell what's an... Oh, these are the roads, yeah. I was imagining the tiles being... Mm, you know, board game tiles. Turn left, first intersection, take array. You know, I could work it from the end. If you turn right at the following intersection, you'll be facing east. Going north and turning uh, right to face east. Make a C shape And you'll be facing east From the house you should be going north Alright Turn left The first intersection You come across, take a right Turn right again and you'll be facing the sun The morning sun, yeah It's the house that's facing north Right? There we go. Critical thinking is the key to success. <laughs> yeah, working backwards. Impressive. I thought I'd set up quite the puzzle, but you made sure work of it. Now for the gossip I promised you, the Reinhold family owns all of the land this village is built upon. And all the skeletons buried there. I hear they own all the buildings too. I guess you could say this town sort of belongs to the Reinhold. Well, I'll be on my way now. But rest assured that the next time we meet, I'll have a harder puzzle for you. <laughs> Professor, look at that man standing in the street. He's blocking the path up to Redwood Manor. How terribly rude, you could just walk around him. Perhaps he'll move for us, but I have a feeling he has no intention of doing anything of the sort. The street is wide! Hold up! Never seen you two here before! What's a couple of fresh faces here, like yourself, doing here? We are here by invitation of the Reynolds. Now, if you will excuse us, we have a business through the gate. Business with the Reinhold, says it so? Something strange here. Yeah, you're a fishy pair, hmm? I don't trust you, that's for sure. But I'll let you pass if you can solve this riddle, see? Just warn you, it's a tough one. It isn't gonna be easy, is it? 
No way, definitely not gonna be easy. Eight small weights that all look the same. But one of them is lighter. Use the scale two times. you want to measure on the scale and you finished arranging them these four. get it Thinking is the key to success. Hmm. 
You measure three and three. If two are left, then uh, it's obvious. Otherwise, you take the lighter three and measure two of them. If they're the same, then it's the remaining one. If they're not the same, then it's the lighter one. Yeah. Hey, not half bad. Pretty sharp bunch, aren't ya? Pair of good sharp apples, the two of you. Apples are not supposed to be sharp. So, have we satisfied you? May we pass now? Curse, you can pass. Move along. And you better make sure to give my regards to Lady Darling. this game quite long, so I'll save this and uh, I'll see you next time.